All right, there we go. <laughs> how are you? Good. How are you? Oh, pretty good. I uh, I heard uh, a week or two ago, Doug Newman emailed me and said, "Hey, do you know somebody named Candace Smith who's reached out to me?" And I said, "Heck yeah, I do." So, uh, oh yeah. I told him to. He better reply to that one pretty quick because. Uh, there's some opportunities up there at Cedar Rapids too, for sure. Mm-hmm. So, hey, listen, uh, we're glad you're on this uh, um, Zoom here and we were able to connect. And I know that we had set aside uh, some time to kind of follow up from a meeting we had, you know, I guess it's been a couple months ago when you came in and visited with our entire staff and <clears throat> we were trying to brainstorm ways to partner an opportunity. And I know we want to continue to do that but the purpose of this particular meeting and why you're here today and why we're joined by the mayors of all three communities which is the first time in uh this sort of presentation that we're about to do that we have all three mayors here um you know we're here to basically give you some information on or uh, an, an, an awards event that we do every year the, the convention and visitors bureau and so for several years now um the cvb has awarded 10 of our brightest and best in, in, in our community with, with what we call an annual Bravo Award. And these awards are nominated on and voted on by our staff and board and partners. Uh, they're a very, usually a very special part of annual presentation that we have at our annual luncheon uh, and are kept secret until uh, that luncheon. And we're, we award these, these uh, individuals in front of the community. And unfortunately, because of COVID, we haven't been able to have a a big annual lunch in the last couple of years, but it actually has become more special because we've been able to do them and record them in this sort of Zoom format and then share them out over all of our channels and, and mediums for weeks to come and just continue to tell the story about why these 10 individuals are, are so great and why they add so much value to our community and the place we call home. Uh, and so these annual Bravo Awards acknowledge just that, individuals in our community who are making uh, the entirety of, of, our, of our neighborhoods and worlds a better place to live, work, and visit. Uh, individuals like yourself, Candace, inspire the rest of us to work harder and notably contribute to the reason we love this community. These leaders add an intangible quality to our area that makes it unlike any other place. They give us confidence in our people and pride in our workplaces, our homes, and the places we frequent. Thanks to a generous sponsorship from Midwest One Bank, uh, who partners with us, each Bravo Award recipient from the calendar year is awarded a $250 uh, gift that they can direct to a nonprofit charity of their choice. Uh, it's now my honor to turn things over to Mayor Foster for a special presentation uh, to you, Candace. Mayor Foster. Thank you, Josh. Uh, so Candace Smith is a production scientist at Integrated DNA Technologies and creator and CEO of iHeart Black Businesses. iHeart is an event management company that, among other things, provides a platform of support and networking for Black entrepreneurs in Iowa. Candace received her degree in chemistry from the University of Iowa in 2016, and she moved back to the area in 2018. In search of additional fulfillment and to put to work her many attributes, she immediately sought a way to help underserved and underrepresented communities. This led Candace to connecting with many local Black entrepreneurs who were lacking in overall support in the community. And this inspired her to create I Heart Black Business. I Heart's mission is to strengthen the Black community, increase public awareness about Black-owned businesses, and to inspire future young Black entrepreneurs. Candace partnered with the City of North Liberty to help facilitate the Embody Embrace event that celebrate, celebrates Black history, hair, and culture. Last year, Candace created and executed the I Heart Black Business Tour, which sent locals and out-of-towners on a Black business tour throughout Johnson and Lynn counties. This tour allowed guests to shop, dine and play at a variety of local black owned businesses. Candace and iHeart 
allows for not only the exposure and the awareness of black owned businesses in the community, but also offers all of our community members a chance to learn about and understand black culture. Candace is a role model for black youth who want to enter the STEM field and she is a role model for potential entrepreneurs in the community. We know that this is only the beginning of the amazing work that Candace is going to do in our community. We are so grateful and glad that Candace is a part of Johnson County, the Iowa City area, and she is one of the many individuals who makes this an amazing community to live, work, and play. Congratulations, Candace. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> this is a complete surprise. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, congratulations, Candace. We actually have a really nice piece of glass art that we'll get to you soon. And you have to think about, and Nick Cading will be in touch as to where we should direct uh, the $250 donation from Midwest One Bank uh, in your name. I know that, as I mentioned, we're joined by all the mayors and I saw the brand new chairperson of Johnson County, Roy Sand, just log in. So we've got all the, uh, the, the uh, leader heavyweights in this community in Johnson County on the, uh, on the Zoom here today. So I don't know if uh, mayor, mayor, chairperson, if any of you others wanna say a few comments about Candace, but please feel free. Well, Candace, this is Mayor Bruce Teague of Iowa City. I am so happy that you are being honored today. Bravo, bravo, bravo. You are awesome and amazing. You are someone that our community looks up to. We need you, and I hope you continue here in our community, uh, given your best. And thank you so much for all that you do. Bravo. Thank you. Candace, I'll just echo Mayor Teague's comments by uh, the ignition of uh, light and hope that you brought to us here in North Liberty. Uh, it's been two years ago now. Um, you started something that uh, you know full well was going to continue up here. And um, that was just an amazing start for us and, and uh, just a great boost for not only our community uh, in North Liberty, but this entire community. And we're very grateful for you. Thank you so much. Roy San, I know you're driving. I hope you're being safe. So <laughs> don't, if you hit I, mute, yeah, I, be careful. I pulled over so that I can give Candace a message. Candace, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for all that you're doing. Thank you for another Black woman in our community stepping up to do what, what we feel is needed in our community. It is so hard. And when I say it over and over and over again, it is so hard to get people to just do anything anymore. People just be like, well, you do it. You know, I don't want to do it. And then you get some people that's interested and people just fall off. So thank you for staying in there. Thank you for everything that you do. And I just want to tell you, I love you. Thank you. I, I don't even know what else to say. It makes my heart happy to see another Black woman in our community stepping up to what is needed in our community. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, I, again, Candace, thanks very much for all that you do. Congratulations. I know we've just gotten to know each other in the last several months, but um, we are and do look forward to scheduling uh, that follow up and and uh, finding additional ways that we can partner and, and whatever additional assistance you need from Doug Newman and Cedar Rapids and that, that crew too. I mean, we're happy to, to assist in that area as well. So uh, just, I know we joked when we first met that uh, we don't really know how you sleep because um, of your day job and then this additional job and then your side business. But um, I hope you continue to have energy for uh, years to come um, and, uh, and we're able to partner for years to come. So thank you very much. Of course, thank you again. And I'm gonna have to get you back. You tricked me with this meeting. I have my notepad ready and everything. <laughs> well, we can still meet, but. <laughs> We wanted to we wanted to do something special, and it's always good when we can kind of do a, a like an ambush attack here and, and get and you know praise somebody with with the mayors and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, uh, we will get it done. I really appreciate it though, because again, it is it's very hard, and it doesn't always feel like there's 
much support out there. So it's really hard to be self-motivated to keep going. And sometimes you wonder if you're actually making the impact that you want to make. So it's nice to know that there's people that see the work that's being done out here. We know that it's needed, but to see that people are actually being reached and being touched and they're being inspired by the few things that I am able to do with my full time job is just it means a lot to me. So I really, really want to thank you guys for that.